I'm Bella, and I'm 11, and I go to Calvert School. So, what I'd like to talk about today is the computer game Minecraft and how it helped me try new things. So, a couple years ago, I was looking for something new to try, and my mom showed me the Independent Games website. There were a lot of cool games, and there's a weird one called Minecraft. So, I downloaded the demo and tried it. I immediately dropped it because I had no idea what to do, and there's no tutorial for Minecraft, and back then, there's no, there was no Minecraft wiki, or it wasn't as popular as it is now, so there wasn't all these different places you could go to get information. A few months later, though, my friend showed it to me again, and she knew how to play, and she told me how to play, and then I really liked it, and I got hooked. Now, you may be wondering what this Minecraft even is, as I have not gone into intimate detail about it. Minecraft is a computer game created by Marcus Persson. It starts off, the player starts off with nothing, and you have to collect resources. Another main part of it is building. You have to collect blocks, and you can place them again. You can make dirt houses or magnificent castles. The world is at your fingertips. These are some pictures and videos that I made in Minecraft. It's a little dark. But this is through a cavern. I made this, this is a Parthenon and um, a little Greek village, I guess, with a trireme. This is just a house on a hill with the sunset behind it. So, the reason I like Minecraft is because um, it gives me the feeling of adventure, because it's always fun to find out what's over the next hill, or down the next cave, or what happens if I follow this river the independence. If you want something done, you have to do it yourself. No one else is there to get you the blocks or get you the resources. Another thing. So when you reach the edge of your Minecraft world, it random, just randomly generates more. Minecraft is much bigger than Earth if you just kept going and going and going. It, I feel as I'm <coughs> that way too. I'm always trying new things and expanding my horizons. So, this past summer, my mom found out about the Digital Harbor Foundation Tech Center. I tried their mobile game development camp. The first week was a curriculum, and the second week was where you got to make your own game. My inspiration for my mobile app was Subway Surfers, the uh, phone game, because it's really fun. <laughs> and so my game is called Monkey Mayhem, and it's a side-scroller. And after I show you a video of it, I'll talk you through some of the code. Music by Austinius, kind of, the name is cut off, and artwork by Vicky Wonderlich. Okay, so, we use the code language Lua and Text Wrangler and Corona SDK to write, write our code, and we were given a template to start. So, the section of highlighted code is where I put in the background images. And you see the background images the monkey's not actually moving. The background images are just on a loop. That makes it a lot easier. <laughs> so it tells it to put the picture in. Okay. This next one is, it's telling it I'm starting a new picture, displayed on new image rect. And then this is where to find the image in my files. And the X and Y coordinates <coughs> are where the um, picture is going to be on the screen. And for the background, I just put them at zero, both because it's big enough to fill the entire thing. 
Minecraft sparked my curiosity because it made me interested in how games worked and if I could try new things myself. I think it taught me to think outside the box and make do with what I have. I really like coding in Minecraft and I think I always, I always will. I might want to try new things in the future, but I'll always remember Monkey Mayhem, this is the name of my game, and Minecraft. The things I like about Minecraft are the things I like about myself. Creativity, fun, adventure, and curiosity. Thank you.